If you are Muslim and you are willing to live in peace with your neighbors and you have no problem with people converting in both directions and you'd like to be allowed to have a mosque, but by the way, they can have a synagogue or a temple or a church. I have no problem with, with Muslims who are prepared to live in diversity. But if you are a Muslim who believes you're going to impose Sharia by cutting off my head, I have a desire to kill you before you cut off my head. I'll tell you folks that, wouldn't you love to hear that from our president? Ain't never gonna happen, you know it and I know it. Joining us now is Juliana Tamarazzi, president of the Iraqi Christian Relief Council. Great to see you. Thank you for having me it's, on it's, again. It's this always so my exciting. pleasure. Um, what, what Newt Gingrich just said yeah. is so important. I wanna get to that, but first of course, as a, as a Coptic uh, Christian and, uh, and, and what's been going on over the weekend, the, the Coptics in, uh, in um, Libya, uh, the horrific ISIS video, um, you know what? What's 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 your reaction to mm -hmm. that? Uh, I'm an Assyrian Catholic Christian. Oh, okay. I, I forget. It doesn't okay. matter. Sorry this is that. really yeah. a this yeah. honestly. This is not a Coptic issue. Okay. This is not a Catholic issue. And you bring up a very good point. This th when ISIS comes in and cuts these people's necks, they don't ask, "Are you Coptic? Are you Catholic? Are you Baptist?" They kill because we're followers of Christ. This has been going on for centuries from the beginning. Um, you remember the pilot, the Jordanian, Jordanian pilot that was set on fire. That is nothing new to my Assyrian nation. Our women were burnt in the late 19, 1800s, early 1900s, just the same way, just to retrieve gold that they may have swallowed as they were fleeing. Our priests were beheaded then, our kids were bayoneted, our men were beheaded, and their skulls were put on stakes by, by Muslim ex extremists. And we have to call it what it is. If we don't call it what it is, how can we remedy the issue? Well, not only won't our president call it what it is, but you talk about the Jordanian pilot burning. Um, they reference the Crusades in that video. Yes. The president a few days later goes to the National Prayer Breakfast and brings up the Crusades. And now in the video yesterday of the uh, Christian, the cops being killed in, uh, in, in Libya, they again talk about the Crusades and talk about uh, taking Rome. That they, you know, they, and, and they do have a branch that's uh, you know, not all that far from Rome. Libya. Li it's yeah. Very close right. to Italy. So it's so, uh, but, so but, but, but what's with the president and, and ISIS sharing this, this rhetoric? You know, I really don't think he's very friendly to the Christian cause. I don't think the media in general is very friendly to the Christian cause. I uh, genuinely believe that he started a conversation and in a way I'm glad it has come up because there's so much misunderstanding about the Crusades so this has opened up uh, an avenue for us to talk about what truly uh, Crusaders were about but at the same time he has inflamed the Islamic world so now the conversation in Egypt is maybe the ISIS is right, maybe we should defend Mos Islam, maybe we should kill Christians because let's remember what they did to us, the Crusaders did to us. It's completely devastating. And of course, uh, Obama's never been happy that the Muslim Brotherhood was thrown out of, uh, of Egypt and that uh, uh, Sisi is now, is now in power. And he's a courageous man. Yeah. He, he and King Abdullah are two courageous men that are leaders in that Muslim world. And uh, you know, um, earlier with Earth Berliner, I said, we have to follow their lead. And it's so ta sad to say that. I know, we, 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 made don't have a leader. we made jo Jordan look like the military power of the world because they ran bombing raids that that we should have done months ago. Exactly. And now, and now Egypt responds, yet we have an American, with the, on the day that they announced that the, 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 the Caleb Mueller was killed, that she was actu uh, actually dead, what did our president do? He shrugged and he went and he made a, a goofy video for a website. I mean, my God. Yes, exactly. Where was the outrage when our two of our men were beheaded? The journalists were beheaded. Uh, well, he played you, golf after one of those yes, announcements. He did. And the Jordanians took to the streets when the pilot was burned. Yeah. How come our American fellow Americans are not rising up and saying, look, they're killing our boys? I, I agree. Here's what I think we need. And I, I, the, the, the beheadings yesterday proved it to me. I think we need a worldwide army yes. of a million or more men from all countries around the world. And let's take care of this in six months. We have to. We have to be aggressive. We have to have, I believe, some boots on the ground. The air airstrikes must be much more aggressive. And we have to, in a way, personally, I think we should infiltrate ISIS by espionage to really help 
the whole system implode from within. No, that obviously, uh, you know, you need uh, you need people on the ground to do that. that I read a story about an FBI agent in the U.S. who infiltrated uh, a, a, an ISIS recruiter. It's a dangerous job. It uh, is a dangerous uh, uh, job. Great to see you. Thank you very Thank you much. For having and me we'll on. have you back, Juliana. Thank Coming you. up next, uh, more of the Malsberg panel. Um, which uh, you're going to be uh, very interested to hear. We had it a couple of hours ago, and you're going to enjoy this segment, I promise you, on the Steve Malsberg Show. Don't go away.